Today I'll be introducing you to the latest Birdie type reactor that ILS is going to be delivering. Um, Birdie reactors are internal recycle reactors. Um, they're used for doing kinetic testing on heterogeneous catalysts at integral conversion levels, so where you have high conversion levels. Mm, in a nutshell, the way they work is you have a thin catalyst bed or a large particle uh, with an impeller which generates uh, an internal recycle over that impeller. Yeah? So you're co continuously feeding gas, you're continuously removing gas and vapor, but you're making sure that that gas and vapor that goes in and comes out passes over the catalyst bed many more times than it would if it just did one flow through. Um, this particular example is for methane steam reforming, and here we're actually working with a single catalyst uh, extrudate. They're quite large. Um, and that's quite a unique attribute of this unit because it will allow this client to do kinetic testing of methane steam reforming catalysts using very, very little material and in a very compact unit. Um, we licensed in this technology for this type of birdie reactor from the University of Erlangen. Um, it's quite unique because it allows us to stir with a very unique uh, rotor and uh, stator geometry at up to 10,000 RPMs. Those very high stirring rates mean that even low density uh, uh, fluids like gases can be very efficiently um, recycled over the catalyst bed. So you can even operate these units at atmospheric pressures, partial oxidation reactions, denox, etc. Um, in this case, we've got um, feedstock vessels here, so we can we're primarily dosing water in this case via the HPLC pump at the bottom. We measure the actual water flow rate and control it using a Bronckhorst Coriolis mass flow controller. We also use the thermal mass flow controllers from Bronckhorst uh, for dosing various gases. Um, we're measuring the volumetric flow rate exiting the reactor using a Ritter volumetric flow meter. That's important, especially for reactions where you have significant stoichiometric change during reaction. And uh, last but not least, we're going to add a online GC once this unit is delivered to our client's site um, overseas. The unit is uh, fully automated in this case, and is made to operate 24 seven, um, continuously generating data for the client. We look forward to wrapping up the chemical commissioning of this. We have uh, had some obstacles to overcome in ensuring that we can uh, reliably seal this system at 800 degrees Celsius and stir it at up to 10,000 RPMs. We hammered out most of those problems here on site and uh, we're happy to be wrapping this project up now and have this unit sent off in roughly one week's time. Um, particularly exciting for us because it's a new client based in the U.S. and we, uh, we look forward to working with them, hopefully having a happy client at the end of the day.